welcome to another update from Australia on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, after Charlene White became the first person to leave the jungle, the remaining 10 campmates had their Bush Tucker trial and they were all taking part. And this was called Partners in Grime and it saw all of them have a Mr and Mrs style questioning so they had to test their knowledge of each other from what they've learnt in the camp. Now obviously because this is I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here they were not alone and there were cockroaches, there was plenty of slime, even feathers so they were completely covered in the jungle nasties and critters um, but they won 10 stars for camp which saw 10 meals and after the last couple of nights where we've seen obviously Boy George and Charlene only brought back two stars this obviously meant a lot to camp because they have been feeling very hungry and I can imagine that that's pumped up morale in the camp. And that by my reckoning is a full house 10 stars out of 10! Oh, you'll be eating well tonight. Oh. Owen, how does that make you feel? Mate, I am gassed. <laughs> <laughs> And elsewhere in the episode, there was plenty of heart-to-hearts and opening up. So we saw Owen and Sean by the waterfall, and they were really opening up to each other. We had Sean t- discussing how his therapy has helped him through the last few years. He sees someone once a week, and Owen was there to offer a listening ear, and he also said, you know, when he opens up, he feels like other people in the camp open up to him, and it just makes for a better environment where people feel like they can talk and they don't feel like they need to bottle their feelings up. So anything I think, for, OK, for me, there's quite a lot of anxiety in the day. If I don't know what's coming, yeah. I do not like it. I get really panicked. And... Yeah. Is that always...? Oh, God, that's, that's what I pay uh, a woman a uh, weekly fee to yeah. help me with. <laughs> it's good, though, like, doing therapy. Yes, it is good, yes. Like, I, I always say to any of my mates, like, I fully recommend it, even if you think you, you sound. Yeah. And obviously, Boy George then explained that if he hadn't have climbed in the charts with Culture Club, he would be stacking shelves in the supermarket. Now, Sean Walsh found this particularly funny, and he took to the Bush Telegraph to explain how he cannot imagine Boy George in Tesco. And then, obviously, Boy George was talking about how he started Culture Club to get revenge on an ex. And now he explained how his former flame had this band going and he wanted to compete with him, rival him. And obviously, he exceeded him. Um, and we've got hits such as Karma Chameleon now, which everybody knows around the world. I ended up kind of living in squats, being on the dole, and then... I sort of looked around me and every single person I know was kind of like doing something with their lives. I was the last person. I was like, I don't know what I want to do. I had a boyfriend who was in a band and we split up and I thought, well, I'm going to start a band just to annoy him. So that's really how Culture Club wow. started. Wow, no way. It's really yeah. ridiculous, isn't it? Where do you think you'd have gone if it wasn't for Culture I might have been a makeup artist or it might have been like fashion. So maybe I would have gone to art school. Yeah. I've never let education get in my way in terms of doing <laughs> what I want to do. Tonight's episode, Ant and Depp have told us how the voting lines have reopened and there will be another campmate leaving the jungle tonight. So stay tuned for everything on that. One more will leave tomorrow night and the vote is now open. Remember, you're voting to keep your favourites in the camp. The person with the fewest votes will go tomorrow. 